Hello my dear lovely students welcome back to my youtube channel once again i am your science teacher ms zanab khan kids we are on chapter number 1 states of matter and i really feel that you all are enjoying this chapter right yes of course because this chapter is really very different and unique as compared to previous chapters and you will be having more fun during this uh, chapter series okay so kids before starting anything quickly mention your name class and section in the comment box and you can also have a rough notebook with you if you feel like to note down some important points then you can okay so let's start in our previous video we studied some of the properties of solids liquids and gases which i really believe that you understood it well but today we'll be learning more about physical and chemical changes in this chapter states of matter so let's begin so matter can change from one form to another these changes can be termed as physical or chemical changes okay so we'll be studying one by one let's begin with physical change the change in which no new substance is produced is known as physical change and the change in which one or more new substances are formed or produced is known as chemical change okay in physical change you will be having no new substance for example if you are playing with a clay and if you are making something out of that clay and once uh, you want to change the shape or size of that clay then you can easily do it so the clay will remain the same and no new substance will formed this is your physical change but in chemical change when you are uh, uh, suppose you are uh, burning a wood log okay and uh, you set it to fire now the wood will burn it will start burning and it will gradually changes into ashes and smoke is produced out of it so that is known as chemical change and you cannot bring back the wood again so in physical change change is reversible you can reverse back all the process and you can have the original uh, product but in chemical change you cannot reverse uh, the product into its original form it is irreversible understood in physical change uh, some of the examples are uh, drying of clothes in the sun boiling of water tearing of paper evaporation and condensation see you can tear the page but still it is a paper still it is a page it's not uh, changed into a new compound uh, no new other substance has been formed but if you are burning a paper then you cannot bring back the paper into its original form correct am i right yes if you are burning that means chemical change is going on and chemical change is taking place over there you cannot bring the paper into its original position so automatically if you will burn the paper paper will turn into ashes and you cannot see the paper anymore okay uh, some of the examples of chemical changes are boiling of an egg ripening of a fruit turning milk into curd and rotting of a fruit understood now i'm going to show you one very fine example or of a difference between chemical and physical change okay kids here is your example can you see what is this what is this yes this is an incense stick or you can also call it as agarbatti right you can see one stick over here now i am going to show you physical change see this is full stick and i am breaking down it into different pieces it's not your single stick anymore but kids still it is your incense stick you can see properties are same right so this is your physical change it has changed its size and shape but the incense stick is always same now i'm going to show you the chemical change of the same here you can see chemical change right see 
इंसेंस स्टिक इज बर्निंग ओवर हेयर एंड वन इज ऑलरेडी बर्न यू कैन सी द एशेज हेयर यू कैन सी द स्मोक कमिंग आउट ऑफ दिस इंसेंस स्टिक एंड यू कैनॉट हैव दिस इंसटेंस स्टिक बैक बट इन फिजिकल चेंज यू कैन हैव इट बैक अगेन मे बी द साइज एंड शेप विल बी डिफरेंट बट स्टिल यू आर हैविंग दिस इन योर हैंड बट आफ्टर बर्निंग वेन केमिकल चेंज विल टेक प्लेस यू कॉन्ट हैव दिस इंसेंस स्टिक बैक अगेन so this process is irreversible cause chemical uh, changes uh, they are taking over place and this change is reversible okay still you can see uh, incense stick uh, in my hand but here after some time it will disappear in front of you why because chemical process is going on and after burning gradually after few uh, minutes it will be like this and no more incense stick will be there just ashes will be left behind understood everyone physical and chemical changes look at these leaves the first leaf is fresh and green while the other is dry and brown can we make the dry leaf fresh again well we cannot do so and that is because the leaves have undergone a chemical change that cannot be reversed all the changes that take place in our surroundings are either physical or chemical changes let us learn more about these changes When water is frozen it forms ice. However, ice and water are made up of the same type of substance that is water molecules. This means that freezing just changed the physical form of water from liquid to solid but the molecules inside remain the same. such a change where only the physical properties of the substance change and no new substance is formed is called a physical change the formation of ice can be easily reversed by heating the ice to form water most physical changes can be reversed melting of an ice cream chopping of wood bending of a wire breaking of a glass and breaking of a pencil are physical changes Now look at this log of wood. Even after being cut from the tree, the wood remained same. But what happens when this log of wood is set to fire? Upon burning, the wood changes into ash. Ash is a new substance which has different chemical properties than wood, and it cannot be changed back into wood again. such a change where the chemical properties of the substance change and a new substance is formed is called a chemical change chemical changes are mostly irreversible burning of paper rusting of iron cooking of rice curdling of milk and ripening of fruits are chemical changes so now you know all about physical and chemical changes Okay so kids this will be your homework draw lines to sort into physical change and chemical change you need to draw lines and the which thing belongs to which change understood till then stay healthy stay safe take care goodbye and we shall meet soon in our next upcoming video of chapter number 1 states of matter